so I'm today bringing my good news statement. It is no secret that uh, Michigan citizens are facing challenging times. But recently, there were a number of good news stories about Michigan and our nation. And while these announcements do not solve all of our problems, I believe it is important that we showcase this good news to encourage those who are looking for jobs and to encourage more employees to bring their jobs to Michigan and just to encourage us as citizens of this great state. Just last week, Com Comerica Bank's Michigan Brief predicted that Michigan jobless rate will fall below 12.5%, which I know is still way too high. But most importantly, the brief stated that the auto sector appears to have made the necessary adjustments to become profitable, and this will help both our state's economy and the national economy. Comerica's chief economist, Dana Johnson, believes that this means that the production of goods and services will grow by 3% or more this year, and this will lead to a modest increase in job creation as well. And thanks to President Obama, proof of this auto sector rebound comes in the announcement from General Motors recently that they will spend $890 million dollars at five factories, including one in Michigan, to upgrade the V8 engines to make them more fuel efficient. Ford also recently announced that it would turn a $2.1 billion profit in the first quarter, signaling that consumers are feeling more confident in buying cars once again. This was Ford's fourth straight profitable quarter, and the company expects to end the year with strong full-year earnings. We just have to look at cranes each week to look at some of the new industries that are coming to Michigan and bringing jobs to our cities. Recently, we learned about companies creating jobs in marketing solutions and business support services. The design, manufacturing, and marketing of components used in wireless communication applications, pharmacy dispensing, and delivery services, including patient call center support, and patient database management plans, automotive components, and metal stamping and welded fabrications. These and other companies could bring over 15,000 jobs to Michigan. And even more importantly, they show that we are diversifying our job base and our economy. And that is the best news in recent months. A more diversified economy will clearly help us put more people back to work keep more of our talented young folks here in Michigan, and will let me come back again with more good news to share with you. Thank you, Mr. President, and I would like my remarks printed in the journal.